What's going on guys, it's Neil Bauman here with Parrot Key and some more tips on mastering mobile. Today we're going to go over photo taking and building that photo report. Really, what we do for a living, if you're an adjuster, uh, inspector, photos, they tell the whole story. Uh, there's so many photos that I've seen before and so many photo reports that I've seen that you have no idea what's going on, no perspective. You'll see a close up of, a da of some damage right here and then there's no perspective of it so we have no idea where the damage is at. So uh, before this, I was a field claim supervisor for a while, I was a field adjuster, uh, I worked for attorneys, public adjusters, I've worked many roles. Um, and as the field claim supervisor role, the one thing that drove me nuts was the photo reports. Uh, either we get four photos, or uh, like I was talking about with the damage, we have no idea where the damage is at. Or the damaged photo is taken from back here, pointing at it, and the damage is right here. There's no close-up. We can't tell what it is or what you're even pointing at. So really, we just wanted to do this video today, guys, and just give you a good understanding of how to do a good photo report. It is an art. Um, it takes practice. You can't just go into it thinking, ah, it's just, just photos. It, it takes some practice. So we're going to show you guys how to do so. All right, guys. So when I first get out of a vehicle, I start by taking my first photo, my dwelling photo. In point five mode, just as I'm walking up to the thing. Get my first photo. I'll go get my address photo, just to show, I call it the address verification. You just wanna be able to tell them, you know, this is where I'm at. I actually inspected the house you told me to inspect. I wrote up an estimate for the correct, uh, the correct location, the correct property. So now I'm gonna take a couple steps back here. I have this little stick that I made. I'm gonna make these, uh, make some wooden ones to probably sell at some point, but this is my elevation stick. So basically, I can hold it in front of the camera, front, and I get it in the corner of the shot. So it'll be front, and when I flip it, right, because I'm moving to the right, and I flip it like this, rear, and then lastly, left. I just put this in the corner of each shot, just so I can not have to annotate the photo later. You guys probably can't see that because of the reflection, but. All right, so I'll start with my front. Then I'll go into all my damage. And again, I was telling you guys, close-ups of the damage and a perspective. Each damage shot should have two photos per shot or per damage. And you really typically want to start with like, uh, like, like items. Like we're going to start with the gutters and then we'll go with the windows. I'll find all the window damage. Then I'll find all the siding damage. Then I'll find all the door damage. And we just go in order and keep it all categorized so the file reviewer can see it. Uh, easier review it a lot easier like oh I know there's a gutter photo then the next five photos are gutter damage all right here's a window photo the next five photos are window damage and it just keeps it in order easier for the uh, reviewer to just look at the file and get it out as fast as possible so again we'll say his windows damage get that close up and step back good perspective yeah all right now let's go around to the rest of the house Right, my rear, and lastly, the left. Ah, we gotta get up in here. All right, now let's do some interior photos. So, about to head in, get my entryway snap. So, as soon as you step in the door, I get your overview. Hitting all corners that I can. This is a storage room, so it's a little, a little cluttered in here. But try to hit each corner. As you can see what's going on in the entire place. <laughs> all right. Now, you wanna go with your damage shots. Again, all right, here we go, we got a patch right here. We get to act like the insured uh, patch this ceiling. So, close up. Good close up, arrow flat, and now I want to get a good perspective, showing where it's at. Now we know in the room what's going on, all right? Come to the wall here. All right, we'll say this wall was replaced here. Right? Or we'll say there's a stain, big stain right here. Close up, again, and very important that you get the close up. Two photos per damage shot, and a perspective. 
All right. Now we know that we're replacing the walls in here. This is a good chance to get your baseboard measurement. It's a little tight in here. So. Put the inspector stick on the reverse side to get the ruler. Snap that. All right. Now moving on, we're gonna head into the next area, okay? Anytime I head into another area, I take a photo leading into that area of the flooring just so you can get a good understanding of what's going on into it. Do we have continuous flooring? Uh, and with this photo, we're gonna see that we do. And if you're writing for insurance, uh, attorneys, public adjusters, we write for it, we all write for a continuous flooring. So, sorry here, overview. Look at that, I can see the whole doorway going in. I can see the floor. Snap it. Then I want to take one step into it. Snap it. And now again I start. I'm going back into here. We do this laundry room. Snap. My wife's probably not going to be happy with this. Snap. Snap. Back in this corner now. And the other way. Snap. Snap. The more that you get around the whole area, the better. It just tells a, a better story, guys. So again, we're gonna do the same thing here. We'll stay right here in the ceiling. Good close up. I can see the texture, see the ceiling texture. If you're not writing the estimate, that can help the estimator out. Good perspective, look at Getting down on one knee for you. There you go, good perspective. All right, heading into the back, next room. We got continuous flooring, right? So. Take it back, step back, snap that picture, and I'm gonna label that picture. E each time I go into a room, the first photo that I label for that room is gonna be that one right here. So I would name this, uh, on this photo, storage closet, and then I go into it. A lot of people, they do the picture in the room. I, I disagree with that. I like to have it outside. It gives everyone a good understanding of what you're going into, where you just came from, and then you start with in here. You take your one step in, take a picture, take a picture down, then go into all your corners. This is a pretty tight closet, so I'm not gonna take you guys in here. But again, all right, we got a little bathroom over here. I'm gonna take my step back. All right, I see everything going into it. That's gonna be hall bath is what I would label that is. Step right here. Bam, bam. Again, coming back just to see this whole area, what's going on? Snap. All right. Now we'll say in here, uh, this this cab, this this sink leaked. All right, it leaked. It damaged this cabinet and the flooring here. Okay. So I'm gonna get a good overview. A lot of things that people uh, miss, a lot of adjustments miss, is the components that are within. Uh, underneath the sink, what's underneath here? If you're in a kitchen, you're gonna have a garbage disposal. You've got dishwasher drain lines. You gotta find out how many supply lines you have. You gotta find out how many uh, shutoff valves you have to detach and reset. So I'll take a good picture right here, bam. And now I can see into that and I understand exactly what it is that I have to uh, replace. All right, I think that's it for this room. So that's it for photos, guys. Um, it's, again, very important to get your photos right. Making sure that they are super detailed, they're in order, they tell a good story, it's, it's key. It's so crucial to the process. Like I said, so many adjusters and so many files that are review where the pictures are terrible, no one wants to hire those guys. If you just get good pictures, you literally are already ahead of 70% of the pack. If you just Thanks for watching guys, we truly appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to our channel. For any business inquiries, any questions, concerns, anything like that, ideas, send it to the email listed below at info at parrotkey.us. Lastly, if you'd like to buy our inspect stick or our macros that are specifically made for Xactimate Mobile, go ahead and head out to our website, parrotkey.us, and you can buy those there.